What's cracking, YouTube? Welcome back to Myers Two Stroke RC Garage. And today, guys, today is that special day I was talking about in the last video that I had that I said I had a special surprise coming to the channel. And today I have a surprise right down here in this box. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a uh, unboxing on my uh, the new platform I, platform I have brought to the channel. And um, I'm not going to tell anybody what it is, and you just have to wait till I get it out of the box or get the camera, you know, pointed in the better direction where you can see what it is. But uh, anyways, uh, I've been thinking long and hard about this and and uh, this is the machine I decided on and the reason I decided on it is because there's a lot of machines out there to choose from, first of all. And I've been through the four-wheel drive versus two-wheel drive uh, controversy and uh, in my opinion, I do like the two-wheel drive machines just a little bit better. Uh, they're just a little bit more eventful when you're driving them, in my opinion. Uh, so, uh, without fur further ado, why don't we go ahead and get at unboxing this. So, I'll be right back. Alright guys, now, you, now that you can see what it is, um, uh, now is it electric or is it gas? We don't know. Um, so, uh, it, I did get the Kraken, the Kraken Vesla. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and open her up and see what's in the box. Uh, I love doing this, guys, because my heart's pounding. I can't wait to see what all is in here. So, and I did get this from Steve at uh, DDM. Uh, anyways, that's 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 who I got it from. Um, I did, I did want to mention that. So here's the mint and probably a sticker too, and the packing order. And then we got this. So let me get that, get this out of the box, out of, let me get this box out of the box and I'll be right back. Life's short, bash hard. I love that. All right, guys, now we're gonna open up this box and see what's inside it. Oh my my. <laughs> this is just freaking amazing. All right, guys, there she be. Let's go ahead and... Pull off the plastic. Okay, we got a little bit of parts in there. I'm glad I opened that. So now let's get this out of the way and I'll get the machine up here and I'll bring you guys in closer. Oh man, feel that. That suspension is so plush. Oh man, that is beautiful. That is just freaking beautiful. Woo! Woo! I love it. All right, guys, I got you guys in here closer and as you can see, of course, I got the gas. Um, I got some big plans for this baby. Um, so yeah, I got the gas machine, uh, RTR. It doesn't look like it comes with a battery or anything. Um, but anyways, uh, before I continue with the video, why don't I get this body off and then we can go start going through some stuff. I'm gonna come up with some sort of quick disconnect for um, that screw there. And then the other ones aren't too bad. Um, what I did, 
here on this is there's a little stand that and there's a bolt that goes in through the bottom and i i took that off this is 10 millimeter and that's four millimeter i figured that was going to be easier but i i'm thinking and i'm seeing now that this is going to be a lot easier to have a quick disconnect here that way i could just pull a pin and you know it can come off but in the front okay so you take off this plate and behind the plate there are two screws that go in those two holes this way and then the nuts on the back side and then back here back here we have two of these posts and they go in right in those two little holes and there are these nice little clips with the rubber on or whatever just so you can grab it easy and then on the back there are two more bolts right there hooking to the chassis uh, right there so that's how the cage comes off and all that so i want to go ahead and see if i can lift it off one-handed there we go so that's how the cage comes off and first off um yeah it's it's got that uh can exhaust on it i'm just gonna i'm gonna what i'm gonna do with this machine guys is i'm gonna run it the way it way it came from the factory um just see what the machine was meant to be um before i start modifying it or doing anything to it um so yeah it's got the can exhaust uh 32 cc i don't know if this is actual kraken engine or if this is a zenoa that kraken put their name on or what or if it's just a cy i don't know what's going on with the engine it just says kraken k320 so um it looks like that carburetor so i cannot find any numbers on the carburetor to tell me what what uh, size carburetor my guess is it's probably uh like a 660 or maybe an 1107 uh, without taking the air filter off and expecting it i really don't know so and then we got our little tag here it says for use with pre-mixed gasoline only so that means you got to mix oil with your gasoline otherwise this thing is going to lock up quicker than crap so uh, we'll go ahead and pull that off get rid of that whoops and there she be there's the tank looks like it's got a vent hole here and it's also got a vent up here and as far as um servos looks like we have a a high torque uh servo for the steering and so they don't uh say on them exactly what the kilogram is spe you know sp specs as, as far as that concerned um and the the manual is a pdf file that you download and i downloaded mine from i think i, I got mine from i just googled uh, crack and owner's manual and it came up and I downloaded the DPF or the PDF. Um, but my imagine my imagination tells me that, you know, based by the numbers, there's somewhere around 50 or 56 kilogram, uh, high torque servos and both of them are high torque, the throttle and the brakes. So that's a little bit different than the Baja. Uh, the Baja has, you know, the smaller servo for the throttle and brake. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of comparing to the, to the Baja guys. So, uh, that's why I, I don't know. That's why I got this machine is because I like the, this two wheel drive aspect. Um, and then the, the, another thing that I could see right off the bat is these shocks don't really, you know, the camera doesn't do it justice, but these shocks are humongous. I mean, that's my finger and they're twice as wide as my finger. I mean, they're, they're big shocks. And another thing it was is how plush the tra the suspension was. I mean, you when you push down on it, it's just it's plush. I mean, it would be great to be jumping. So trying to fit, find other things. Uh, I did notice that the the dog bones and the the well the drive drive cups and dog bones they're uh, bigger and beefier than like what what, what you say would come on a normal a normal Baja. And then uh, this is it's wider than a than a regular Baja by far. Um. Well, I don't know by far, but it's wider. Um, it, in fact, just 
just going to eyeball it. Yeah, it might even be wider than the widening kit. I don't know um, without measuring it. So, yeah. Um, and then next thing I'm going to go, go over is the battery box. And it opens like that. <clears throat> Except you're supposed to do it without dropping it. Um, the one thing I did notice is, um, okay, so first of all, there's no battery. You got to supply your own battery. And the manual says a 2S LiPo. So it's got high torque, high, high voltage servos apparently. And it does come with a radio. You can see the, ra or the receiver. You can see the receiver up in there. So it does come with a receiver. And I imagine you can bind that receiver to uh, any transmitter. But more likely what I'm going to try, probably try to do is um, get me another Fataba, uh trans or receiver. And then I'm going to bind it to the my Fataba. Yeah, I can't remember the, the name of it, but I'm going to bind it to my Fataba GT3 or whatever it is. So that's how that goes. And then, I don't know, I thought about, I was looking at that and I, you know, that's, you just push that thing in and it's supposed to stay. So I, I don't know. I thought about putting a battery in there and a big, a nice little quick, quick connect, uh, charging coupler. And I also thought about just maybe silicone blocking that off. So no moisture and stuff can get in inside the battery box. Cause I do, I do run my machines, you know, in the morning and some, you know, and stuff. And sometimes in, you know, after a rain and I, I just don't want a bunch of moisture getting in there and messing with the electronics on it. So. That's one thing I'm going to do. And up front, we got more of them humongous, beefy shocks. I mean, those those shocks are, I mean, like I said, the camera does not do it justice. And then we do have adjustable camber links as well as toe on the front. And we have adjustable camber links on the back. So that's nice. I don't know how much I'm going to be messing with it or dinking with it, but... Um, Another thing I wanted to mention is this beefy, beefy uh, rear t shock tower. That that thing is, it's, it's a beefy stuff. I think it looks like five, six millimeter thick. So, um, and then as you can see, there's several different spots. I imagine that's what they're for. You know, you can't go too close to this, obviously, unless you take this off and you lose a mounting point on your cage. But I imagine you can put these in any of these holes. So all the way up to up there so um and then the same thing with your uh camber links on your on your rear so you can you can change the position of them um i did notice it has a hinge pin brace real similar to the baja and it also has a front hinge pin brace hinge pin, hinge pin brace real similar to the baja as well and there's that front engine mount, a little bit different. I, I'm liking how how open this this is right here. I definitely don't think this is, this is going to be a grass grass catcher like all that all that fairing shit that comes on them Bajas when you first got them. That's the first thing I do is remove all that plastic shit. Um, so there's a another good look at your throttle servo and everything. Um, trying to go back here slowly. Um, it, the, the tank looks a lot like a Baja tank. I'm not so sure that it's not a Baja tank. Yeah, I, the, I, the, the 45 in the back, that, that map matches that, uh, rear tank brace on the Baja. Now, however, this does not have a rear tank brace and it has another one of them nice little brackets right there. And then this does have a slipper clutch. And uh, I'm going to take this cover off for you guys here in a minute. But uh, it does have a slipper clutch. clutch and I noticed that um, right off the bat, I think the gear, the gear pitch, the tooth pitch is the same as a Baja. Pretty sure. I'm just probably 100% sure that the, you know, the way the, the spur and pinion connect to the transmission and the clutch bell are not the same. So... So anyways, uh, yeah, why don't we go ahead and I'll get this uh, slipper clutch housing pulled off. And All right, guys, I got the cover off. And this, uh, I couldn't tell through the plastic, but I was pretty sure. But yeah, the, the front gear 
it is metal and i i don't think it is that cheap pop metal the the rovins come with but it, it could be but you got your your slipper your slipper clutch nut back here and then you got you know this nut that kind of holds it on and this is supposed to come with an adjusting nut for this clutch but mine did not come with a or not a nut but a wrench like a spanner wrench or whatever to adjust this clutch mine did not come with it um but that's no big deal i got i used to be a technician a, a diesel truck technician so i got plenty of tools to fiddle around with this thing but uh it looks like it's just a series of discs and uh fris friction material sandwiched together like a like I, I guess a normal clutch would be in, in you know whether it be an auto track automatic transmission clutch pack or um you know whatever it may be but they got a series of uh you know friction discs and uh i don't know what what else you call that but they got a series of those uh put together and then they got i don't know if they got a spring inside there that that uh adjusts this but yeah as far as this goes i'm not i was kind of leery about this whole this whole part of it um when they came out but you know that, that and that's one of the reasons why I waited to get this as well guys is because um I wanted to make sure there wasn't any you know weird flaws or you know weird weird stupid things going on with it and for the most part it sounds like the machine's pretty standard pretty standard and or not standard but pretty sound as far as everything goes um and I like I said I don't know about this I'm probably going to try to do something with this you know either just completely do away with it or or whatever because I have I have other plans for this guys some bigger plans i got bigger fish to fish to fry than this just this little 32 that's in it so then you can take a look at your um brake leakage linkage and this is at least yeah this is double the thickness as your throttle which on a baja they're the same and if you get the the new and improved linkage from detroit it's actually i think it's actually this thick my tw quick disconnects yeah, my quick disconnect disconnect is um, this this size, and then they got the smaller rod for the throttle, which which is no big deal because the throttle doesn't really need a whole bunch, you know, a whole bunch like a real stiff rod. It doesn't need a big heavy rod, but I do like the way they got the uh, brake rod set up, where you can you can adjust it here, you know, you can slide this on here and you know different places here and you can also screw the end you know turn the end and it'll screw in and out of this part so and then i suppose if these later down the road if these threads end up stripping out or something weird happens you could always put a nut on this side or either side to be to be uh specific with that i mean you just have to adjust your throttle servo and all that stuff to where everything is happy but um yeah, that's kind of the kind of the deal with it. And I did notice that this does not have transfer ports. Well, it I know it has transfer ports, but it does not have a transfer port cover. They are gone. You can see the little casting, but there's no there's no transfer port cover there. And you can't see the one on the other side. So uh yeah. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I'm going to be doing something with that exhaust, but I'm waiting on the exhaust to figure out what I'm do going to do because I'm either going to go with the, uh, now I don't want to let the cat out of the bag too much, but I'm either going to go with a, uh, the 32 and up, uh, Taylor small bore pipe, or they have, uh, the big block pipe out for the, for the Kraken Vesla big block pipe. So, I was thinking about maybe uh, we could stick the 71 in this and see what what uh, we got going on. So, anyways, if if not, then we're going to put the uh, Taylor 35 in this. Um, but like I said, guys, I want to uh, run it the way it is and see what the machine was meant to be as it is before I start hopping it up and putting different engines in it and doing all that shit to it. So, anyways, guys, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't, I don't want to leave anything out. Let me see if there's anything else I'm trying to think. So yeah, guys, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share the video. Guys, that's going to do it for this one. I just wanted to do an unboxing of it. Um, 
and uh, all that stuff. Kind of a different one than uh, you normally see out there. I know everybody comments about that that dinky radio, but I'm not going to be using that. Um, so, yeah, that's going to do it for the gist of the video, guys. Uh, do all the stuff. Like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, everything. And we will see you in the next one.